The regular monthly board meeting of the Ambridge Area School District Board of Directors on Monday, February 26, 2018 is now called to order. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Public videotaping. The purpose of videotaping the meeting is for public information. The opinions expressed by any member of the public do not necessarily reflect the view or opinion of the Ambridge Area School District Board of School Directors and are solely that of the speaker. The Ambridge Area School District Board of School, by, School Directors hereby expressly disclaims any and all responsibility or liability for any false, defamatory, or slanderous statements expressed by the speaker. Any unauthorized rebroadcasting of any video, audio, or still image of the video recording of this meeting is strictly forbidden without the written permission of the Ambridge Area School District Board of School Directors. May I have a roll call, please? Mrs. Fisher? Here. Mrs. Kehoe? Here. Mr. Kowal? Here. Mrs. Locker? Here. Mrs. Milan? Here. Mrs. Pettiga? Here. Mr. Sass? Here. Mr. Weir? Present. Mr. Angus? Here. Nine members present? Thank you. We have the Sunshine Law, please. Section 708 of the Sunshine Law permits agencies to hold executive sessions to discuss employment and personnel matters, labor relations and arbitration matters, purchase or lease of real estate up to the time an option or agreement is obtained, litigation or potential litigation, and other agency business which if discussed in public would violate lawful privilege or would violate confidentiality laws. The Board of School Directors held an executive session on Wednesday, February 14, 2018, and Monday, February 26, 2018, to discuss employment and personnel matters. Thank you. Is there any correspondence this evening? There is none. Okay. Uh, everyone received a copy of the minutes of the January 17th meet and discuss meeting and the January 24th board meeting. Could I have a motion to accept or correct those minutes? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Weir. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Mr. Kowal. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, you also received the treasurer's report for February 2018. May I have a motion to accept it or correct the treasurer's report? So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Milan. Do I have a second. second? Thank you, Mr. Weir. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any? Okay, motion passes. Uh, are there any addendums or changes to the agenda before we ask for a motion to approve? I do. Yes. Um, in under personnel on page seven, item six, seven, and eight, I would like to add as a s end of the sentence with regret to each of those items, please. Thank you. Any other changes to the agenda? Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve the agenda as amended, please? So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Walker. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any recognitions or anything this evening? No, sir. It's time for public comment. At this time, district residents may come forward to comment on agenda items only. Each person must state their first and last name and address prior to speaking. Each resident will be allowed three minutes and can speak only once. This period for public comment prior to the standing committee reports will be limited to one half hour. Although not required, board members desiring to address questions or concerns may do so after the resident's comment or question or at the conclusion of the committee reports. There will still be an opportunity for residents to comment on any issue relevant to the Ambridge Area School District under old and new business at the end of the meeting. The floor is now open for anyone who would like to comment on any agenda items this evening. Uh, Mike Andrews. Bondi Borough, and this goes to uh, the question uh, and would like to get comments from uh, Mr. Kowal, since he's uh, the person that's marked here for building to ground and it's concerning the district emergency operations plan. Uh, you want to approve this resolution tonight, I, I would assume. Um, is this going to be posted somewhere? Is there going to be any more discussion about this? Obviously not if you're going to vote on the resolution as to what entail, what this entails exactly. And of course I'm, I'm going to come back to school security and um, many of you probably know that I tutor at the uh, Highland Elementary School every week 
And when I was there last week, obviously it was a concern to me after the shootings that took place in um, Florida that and I, I asked the um, receptionist when I came in to sign in to go to the classroom where I do my tutoring, if the uh, reception window that's there when you come in the main door before you were allowed entry into the building, if that piece of glass was bulletproof, and it was indicated to me that it was not, okay? So if an active shooter did come into the building, whether or not they could into that entryway may not be able to get into the building. However, they could certainly shoot out the glass very easily since it's not bullet resistant, potentially kill or maim, injure anybody that's in that office area where there are two people. And if that took place, that person would not be able to get to the lockdown button, which is probably about three feet away from the window. So that's my concern. Is there any talk, discussion, any movement towards making these reception windows when people come into the building bulletproof to at least afford a barrier so that that person wouldn't be killed or injured and would be able to hit the lockdown button? So that's, that's my concern right now. Whether or not, uh, you know... We are discussing that. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I, I want to say something too. Um, I, I sit on the CTC board. We actually talked about that at our meeting um, last week, and it was something that was going to be brought up to the superintendent's uh, meeting next month uh, with Dr. Welder and the other superintendents. And that was one thing we did discuss was bulletproof glass coming into the reception areas. Okay. I'll, I'll respond more fully to your okay. question. Wait. So then what about further, you know, arming uh, the door so that they couldn't be shot out either, okay, than to gain entry into the building, because there is glass in those doors, even though you have to be buzzed in, if you blew out those doors, the windows, you could get in. I'm going to respond to your first question first. The security okay. um, plan, the safety security plan, has to be submitted to PDE by the end of the month. That's why, and that's an internal document, not one that we would share with the community because, of course, we don't want everyone to know what our plans oh, are. Okay, so um, that's specific plans as to what you would actually internal, do. Internal, yes. Okay. Um, I met with the, all the county superintendents this past week at the 911 center. Uh, we met with administrators probably for a good two hours talking about all of the issues that we need to address and for every scenario you've thought of, because we live in school buildings, we've probably thought of 10 more. So it's on our radar. Um, we actually were a bit ahead, out ahead of this in that we had a locksmith walk all of our buildings. Um, I would say in the next two or three weeks, we'll be sharing more with the community as far as the steps that we're taking, because we are making progress and certainly we're concerned for our kids and our, our staff. Um, and there's a lot of glass in these buildings. Um, we found out that you can actually get some sort of uh, sheet that you put over the glass that's bulletproof, um, but then we'd have to raise taxes beyond the index to pay for it. So um, it's a balancing act between how much money we have and how much security we can provide. Second question is, where does the administration and or the board stand concerning the Senate Bill 383 which is in the Education Committee, and one piece of that, that bill is to provide for the arming and training of teachers and administrators. So I'd like to know where everybody stands with that. Because that's, Mr. Cowell, you can speak to that too. Well, that's, that's a very... You're, you're a police officer in an right. educational facility. And I'm not an advocate of... Uh, Army teachers with guns. Good. The reason being, <clears throat> you're going to have a gun, if the teacher's going to have a gun, are they willing to take someone's life? But I don't want to have to put that stress on anybody mm -hmm. that's not trained to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the bill that's there in the Education Committee. And a number of school districts have af actually come out, you know, in opposition to this. So I think it's a discussion point within the administration and the board as to where 
you want to be with this issue. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Being quiet tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no right. so far. If not, we'll go forward with the committee reports then. First up would be education and technology. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. So tonight I want to make a motion to approve items 1 through 13. I just want to note a couple of things though um, for the board and the community that uh, we have just a slight change um, in a couple of the items since the meeting discussed. And the first one is um, item number two. March 28th will be the second snow makeup day. School will be in session full day. And March 29th will be the third snow makeup day. School will be in session half day. And then half in Act 80 day. These days have been adjusted and swapped so that to allow the students to finish the week with a half day instead of a full day. Item number 12, pre-K counts letter of intent. It's recommended to approve the submission of a letter of intent to apply for pre-K counts funding. And then 13, settlement agreement is recommended to approve the settlement agreement and release between the district and student JK as presented. So those are just um, some just minor tweaks since the meet and discuss meeting. So now I'm going to make a motion to approve items 1 through 13. I have a motion on the floor for items 1 through 13. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? No on item three, yes on everything else. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigrew? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? Yes. Mo motion carries. Thank you. Uh, next we have finance and budget. Mr. Sass, please. Thank you. We need a motion to accept items one through six as outlined in the past agenda. There's a motion for items one through six under finance and budget. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion on items one through six? <coughs> if not, roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, building and grounds, Mr. Kowal? I would like to make a motion to accept item number one as recommended to approve the resolution 2017-18-4 updating district emergency operation plan. All right, I have a motion on the floor for item number one. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? <coughs> yes. Motion carries. Uh, athletics, Mrs. Fisher? I would like to make a motion to accept item number one. I have a motion on the floor for item number one. Do I have a second? <coughs> second. second. Thank you, Mrs. Milan. Do we have any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, public relations, Mrs. Milan? Nothing to report this evening. Right. Steering and rules, Mrs. Kehoe? Yes, I'd like to move for the adoption of items one through seven. I have a motion on the floor for items one through seven under steering and rules. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, legislative, Mrs. Kehoe? There are no voting items this evening. Thank you. Uh, salary schedule and labor relations, Mr. Weir? There are no items under that category today, sir. Thank you. Uh, personnel, Mrs. Walker. Thank you. I move for the adoption of items 1 through 14 as amended. I have a motion on the floor for items 1 through 14 as amended. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Kowal. Any discussion? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mrs. Fisher? Yes. Mrs. Kehoe? Yes. Mr. Kowal? Yes. Mrs. Locker? Yes. Mrs. Milan? Yes. Mrs. Pettigo? Yes. Mr. Sass? Yes. Mr. Weir? Yes. Mr. Angus? Yes. Motion carries. 
Uh, we have anything for the solicitor? No solicitor's report this month. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Walter, superintendent? No report this evening. Okay. Uh, old and new business. It is now time for old and new business. Any district resident who desires to comment on any business relevant to the Ambridge Area School District should now come forward. Each person must state their name, first and last name, and address prior to speaking. Each person will be allowed three minutes and can speak only once. So the floor is now open for anything regarding the school district. Hello, I'm Kathy Andrews from Economy Borough, and I just wanted to compliment the, the um, board or whomever wrote the newsletter that went out to the community. I thought it was very well done and it was a great way to uh, let the community know what you're doing and what's happening in the district. It was also very attractive so I think people would actually open it and read it. So congratulations on, on a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> If not, may I have a couple? Oh, please go right ahead, sir. Yes, I, I just have a question. I'm rep my name is Jim Steele from uh, Harmony Township. I'm, in I'm, calling, I'm here in reference to the uh, basketball coach. Uh, I have two players that play for the high school basketball team. One's a junior and one's a uh, freshman. On 24 January, um, there was a game against Central Valley, and one of my grandsons, he wasn't playing because he was, he has administrative uh, Academic said he's behind one. So he came out and the coach told him why was he there? You know what I mean? And he said he was here to watch the basketball game. So the coach told him he shouldn't be here. You know, so he left and decided he didn't want to, you know, pay no more for the coach. And that didn't just happen just then. That happened a lot of things were going on ahead of that. And then my other grandson, he's a ninth grader, he ran into the same discipline problems with the coach. So it seems like the coach is you know, just uh, picking with the kids. Not just my kids, my grandkids, but there, there are other kids on the team that parents didn't want to come forward. So I thought I should at least come forward and say something about the kids on their behalf. And then I know that, you know, there's some discipline problems that, you know, I'm not aware of that the coach didn't say. So he said there was nothing else wrong with the kids. It's just that you just didn't want to, you know, do the things that was right with the kids. I got to say all right, uh, Dr. Walter will be in touch with you. Okay. Okay. They played a good game on Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Sir? I am uh, Dr. Melvin Steele. I live at 18 Lamplighter Lane in the Economy Borough. And I am also the uh, Vice President of the Beaver County NAACP. And this gentleman here is my nephew, and I've been monitoring this situation with the basketball team. And as a former administrator in the Seneca Valley, Aliquippa, Quaker Valley School District, I, whenever you contact my nephew, whoever contacts him, I don't want to get into a discussion here on the floor, but I want to be a part of that meeting. Okay. Anyone else? If not, then I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting adjourned.